we, uh, we've always been a company that makes machines, sort of special machines, right? And um, we wanted to be more of a, a commodity type uh, supplier in this sector. So we, um, we designed the inverted machine. We have a patent today then, uh, and it's a full five axis machine for a large variety of parts. We've come to the Modig factory in Kalmar in Sweden, and this is the headquarters of Modig. But David, for people who've, who've never heard of Modig before, what sets you apart as a machine tool builder? I would say uh, many things actually. Uh, and the most important thing right now is that we don't supply uh, machines out of the catalog. We, uh, we are customer friendly, so we can change it and depending on what the needs are. And we have a large variety of machines as well, going from extrusions machines to big plate machines. So there's a large, a large variety of, of, of different things we have. And by extrusion machines, you mean you're machining extruded parts. And we're Correct. talking kind of, and when you want to extrude a rough, a rough shape to them machine, you're talking quite high volumes, aren't you? Oh, yes. So if you go to automotive, that's obviously a very high volume there. Uh, maybe 500,000 pieces per, per part, part number. Uh, if you go to the aerospace, it's more of a, 10, uh, 10, 15 parts or ship set, like they say. So these machines you're talking about, the HHV, it's, it's uh, well-versed in, in both the uh, industries. So it's amazing that you guys, sometimes machine tool builds are optimized for automotive, high volume, low value maybe, an aerospace, which is low volume, high value. They'll, yep. they'll try and pick one. How come you can pick both? How, <laughs> how, what allows you to do that? Yeah, it's, like I always say, it's price per part, right? So it depends on how we, uh, we structure the machine, how we attack the part. Uh, so we, we have had a, a really good opportunity with, with the aerospace over the last 20, 25, 30 years. And uh, now when the EV came uh, alive with the, uh, with the extrusion uh, in the battery trays or the, the frame itself, we, we saw that we had a machine that really worked well there as well. So it's, uh, it's really, uh, I mean, really about price per part. So talking about price per part, it's all about keeping the cost down, whether you're doing high volume or low volume, high value. But let's talk a little bit about that aerospace now. These are some big machines. What are they called and how, how big can they get? Oh, you know, they can get up to uh, 30 meters long. So it's very, very big part for wing, wings mostly. So wing spars, wing stringers, and the machine is called Rigimil. So we have a moving gantry machine that is, like I said, up to 30 meters. And then we have a moving table machine, which is up to six meters long. So depending on what the part looks like, we were going to have a, a different platform, but uh, Rigimil in general. And it's amazing that you can cover both those sectors so well, but there's another machine coming out, a brand new machine. Yes. It's called it an inverted machine. I've never seen anything like it. Can you just explain <laughs> to our viewers what it would be for and why they might be interested? Yeah, I mean, uh, if we start with why we did it, maybe. Uh, we, uh, we've always been a company that makes machines, sort of special machines, right? And um, we wanted to be more of a, a commodity type uh, supplier in this sector. So we, um, we designed the inverted machine. We have a patent today then, uh, and it's a full five axis machine for a large variety of parts. Instead of having dedicated machines for a family, uh, these uh, inverted five axis machines, they're, uh, they're able to handle a lot of different components from a job shop to an aerospace or automotive. So the, the uh, I would say the, the possibilities are much bigger uh, in the sales size uh, with a machine like that. It sounds a lot more flexible when people yes. have got different batches coming in of yes. different kinds of parts. Oh yes, very much so. Brilliant. So if you didn't know who Modig are, you do now. If you thought Modig were only for families of parts, uh, they're not anymore, they've got a brand new inverted machine coming out. Watch this space. If people are interested in Modig and want to find out more about the machine tools, how do they get in touch? Oh, you go into our webpage, uh, modig.se, or you contact us uh, through the email, modig at modig.se.